we show people that we have so much to give to this community and to this world. And that's what we will continue to do um, despite tragedies like this. I mean, it's really what we have to do. The Club Q shooting sending shockwaves through LGBTQ plus communities across the country, including right here in Central Texas in the Brazos Valley. 25 News reporter Andrew Lamparski spoke to a local gay club, and they say that the shootings bring concerns about safety right here in Texas. It's really terrifying is what it is. When Mallory Gerard heard of the attack in Colorado Springs, she knew she had to fight the fear. I have not only myself to worry about, but my entire staff and all of my patrons that are in the club. Gerard manages the bar at Halo Nightclub in Bryant. It identifies itself as an LGBTQ plus safe space, a label you won't find on many other nightclubs across Central Texas. Even though we may be very scared inside, it is our responsibility as um, staff members of our establishment to make sure that our patrons feel safe. She says it's a conversation she's been having with her staff long before Saturday's shooting. They are constantly watching. They're constantly paying attention. The CEO of LGBTQ plus advocacy group GLAD says gay bars and clubs have become less common since the pandemic while threats of violence are on the rise. We are survivors and we're thrivers. So as a community, we always come together and we lift each other up. Waco Pride Network writing in a Facebook post, quote, there are no words to properly express the emotions we are all going through. Know that your feelings are valid. We will keep going. Gerard keeping the same message of perseverance going forward. We have to show people who may not understand us that we just we just want to live and we just want to be and be happy. This club standing in solidarity with Club Q from 900 miles away. Andrew Lamparski, 25 News.